sit right there and pull it up. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. A Missouri state senator is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump is assassinated. I will go and take Trump out tonight. And they show you been waiting for. If this is your first time tuning into the Miguel Lopez show, don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and share so we can continue bringing you the best content. Ladies and gentlemen, recently I created a TikTok account for the Miguel Lopez show and it's been pretty good so far, but guess what? I just been flagged, I've been warned, I'm about to be banned from TikTok because nowadays when you speak the truth, when you fact check the lies by the people when you don't follow the narrative when you don't follow the agenda when you're not in the democratic plantation all your truth are considered misinformation is considered that you inciting violence is considered that you are discriminating against certain people so now the truth which is protected even if you are lying you are able to do those under the first amendment freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion, free to speak my voice, to tell my truth, to fight, check the lies done by the Democratic Party. But when you do that, it's called misinformation. Hmm, I wonder how biased even the social platform are. We all know this, but even Mark Zuckerberg said that Facebook was pressured by the current administration to censor conservative right-wing messages and classify them as false misinformation and the being fact-checked fact by third party. Please give me a break. So I want you to see a two-minute video done by Don Jr. And this was fact check by Instagram is I cannot believe it is the sad voice the people pushing the narrative pushing violence against Trump and is being fact checked by Instagram saying this is false no I'm just gonna play this video and let you enjoy it I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country and maybe there will be people need to start taking to the streets this is a dictator. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless. When they go low, we kick. How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this country is white men most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. You would have been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. And that's a fact. <laughs> Look as his character is stabbed to death. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. A Missouri state senator is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump is assassinated. I will go and take Trump out tonight. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. And sadly, the domestic enemies to our voting system and wow. our honoring our Constitution are, are right at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. They're not going to stop before Election Day in November, and they're not going to stop after Election Day. 
And that should be, everyone should take note of that on both levels, that this isn't, they're not going to let up and they should not. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. You see, this is where we are right now. This is how biased the media is and social platform. They continue pushing this democratic and everything. If you are against their agenda and you are a conservative and you think for yourself and you investigate and you find the truth, you just don't believe what the media say or you find on this social platform, then you are considered a threat to their agenda. You are considered a nuisance and your truth will be shadow banned, your truth will be silenced. But listen to me, people, we are not talking to the chips here. We are not talking to the chip or who believe everything and follow blindly. I am not talking to those people. I am addressing my lions because here in America, we have a bunch of sleeping lions. It's time to wake up. Don't just let it to me and a few other conservatives who are spreading the word, who are speaking the truth. You need to get up there and talk your truth. Check for these people, speak your mind. Do not be silenced. You are a lion. And lions wake up and show these people who we are. Show them what we stand for, the values that we stand for, the people we represent, the America we love, the America that we have fought for the America that many of us put the uniform on for. So it's time to wake up, my lions. Do not be silenced by this platform. If they ban your account, if they cancel your account, create another one. Let's continue speaking our words. Let's all unite. Let's support each other. If you are a conservative paper, person putting out a message there, speaking the truth, tag me on your video. I will repost your video. Tag me. Let's do, let's work together. Because lions need to wake up. It's time to wake up. I am done talking to the people. I am done addressing these blind people. I am done addressing the people that just vote based on BS presented to them by the media and the democratic plantation, by the machine, by those unelected officials making policies and ruling this nation. Lions, wake up. This is my call to you. Wake up. We don't talk to the sheep, but we talk to lions. And no matter what happens, speak your truth. Wake up. Come, join me. Let's continue speaking. Let's race against the machine that trying to silence or try to take away our freedom of speech, try to take away our Second Amendment and, and everything that comes in between. We are not going to be silenced. We are going to continue speaking the truth. Because I don't know if you have seen it, but a lot of legal immigrants that came here legally are against illegal immigration. A lot of legal immigrants that are here left their country because of socialism, communism, and all this political persecution against opponents, all this violence, no freedom of speech, no freedom to own guns, nothing. A lot of us legal immigrants left their country for that. And we love America. We stand by America. We stand and respect the values of America. We don't bring our the nonsense that we escape to this country. We follow this country vote, this country vision, this country values. That's why I stand here and continue speaking my truth. I don't care how many times I get sent or how many times I get banged, I will continue speaking my truth because I am a lion and I'm speaking to lions. It's time to wake up and speak your truth. And no better way than to speak in your truth than going to vote on November 3rd. Vote Republican. Let's bring Donald Trump back to the White House. Let's bring America back to what it used to be. Let's make America great again because the way it's going, as I said before, we are the laughing stock of every major nation. And these people, this current administration, the Biden Harris administration, they want to go to war. They want to keep us in war. They want to go to war with Russia. And they keep forgetting that <laughs> Russia got nuclear power. We are in the verge of a nuclear war. And these people do not care about you. They just want to make money and money. Why you continue poking the bear? Hmm? Make it make sense. And you guys could. Continue voting blindly for these people, but you know what? I am done with the cheapo. 
I don't address the cheapo no more. Cheapo continue being cheapo. It's time to get out there, speak your truth, stand for your rights, stand for what you believe in, and let's stop this Democratic Party and spreading all this false narrative and the rhetoric and violence against not just Donald Trump, but any Republican, any conservative. Like, enough is enough. Lions, rise up. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.